to free or not to free? That is the question. Hey guys, it's Claudia coming back at you with a video about free shipping, of course. Should you do it? Should you not do it? And does it even matter? When I first started, I offered no free shipping at all on any items. I also required the buyer to pay immediately and there was absolutely no returns. Really ballsy for someone who had zero feedback. As my business grew, as I became more uh, interested in capturing some of those higher uh, priced buyers and I started sourcing items that were more expensive, I decided to look into how to get more traction into my store. And one of the things I found was free shipping. Now, should you do it? I don't know. I don't do it for every item. I do it for about 50, 40 to 50% of my store is free shipping. And I'll tell you that it has increased my sales to some degree. Um, it's really a combination of things that have increased the sales in my store. I am now shipping out every single day, multiple times a day. I think I shipped out about 50 packages this week alone, which is wonderful. And that's just from this platform, not from Facebook Marketplace or my Poshmark order. So I really have driven a lot of traffic to my store. And I think one of the contributing factors is definitely free shipping. Now, what do I do? I factor in the cost of my shipping into my prices. And that does help. Um, I do though also negotiate with uh, my buyers. I don't do um, buy it now without um, letting them negotiate a little bit. I always feel like customers appreciate the fact that they can offer a different price and I set my prices accordingly. But that's just me. What do you do? Comment down below. Let me know what you do, what you're seeing, what's your trend. I always feel like we have to kind of compete a little bit with some of these bigger retailers, Amazon, Walmart, some of the um, mall brands. We have to really um, come up to their level and it depends on the type of seller that you want to be. If you're going to retain or get in customers in that fashion, I mean, I recently had uh, two big sales that I can point to, and you've seen both of them on my channel. Go back and watch some of those previous videos. The Denise sports jacket, I offered free shipping on. The jacket was $240 when it sold, and I offered free shipping. It cost me $13 to ship that jacket out, and I really feel like that was a great investment. I knew that um, I was going to offer free shipping, so I did factor it into the price of the jacket. And I previously had two different offers on that jacket at a lower price, and on two, one was on eBay and one was on a different platform, and those offers did not go through. When I changed the jacket to free shipping and raised the price, I ended up getting a pretty decent price for it, $240, and I, made ended up making more money off the jacket so you know that's one example another example is from the uh Marantz yesterday i think i'm trying to remember i think it was 14 pounds and that cost me 14 or 15 dollars to ship out yesterday and i factor that into my price when pricing I also left room for negotiation. So it really depends on what you want to do as a seller, whether you're going to offer free shipping or not, because you really have to factor in your cost of goods. And if you have any wiggle room there to still make a very good profit, I did. My cost of good for the Denise sports jacket was $10 on my sourcing trip to South Carolina. And the Morantz was an $8 pickup here in New York at a local yard sale. Um, so I felt those were really good profits off of $8 and $10. I made over $350 um, on gross profit on them. So I really feel that for those, it took a gamble. Now media, I don't really send out um, free unless it's a higher priced book or series or something like that. I generally don't offer free shipping but I have been known to offer free shipping occasionally. Um, it really all depends on the item. If you have a question whether you should be offering free shipping on an item, take a look at your bottom line. Don't forget to factor in the eBay fees, your PayPal fees, fees if you're not on managed payments, and also your cost of goods. Uh, and that'll really determine whether you can afford to offer free shipping on your items. So, 
that's it for now. Just a quick video on to free or not to free shipping. Thanks guys. See you soon.